Hey, it's Mike from Music Radar. We are still here at the Fender booth at NAMM 2019, and I'm here with Stan, who's going to talk us through six new pedals. Stan, what, what's what here? Awesome, thanks, hi. Okay, this year, brand new for the show, we have our Tree Verb, which is, this is everything from a Fender amp. So this is the three different flavors of vibrato or tremolo that we've done. It's an octo vibrato, like a twin reverb. It's a bias, uh, like a, actually tremolo, octo tremolo. It's a bias mm. tremolo, like a Princeton, where it modulates the power tubes. And it's a harmonic vibrato, like uh, the old brown amps. Mm. So, and you can hear the difference. So, uh, you can hear the difference when I turn the phaser off. <laughs> so that's the opto, and it gets choppy. That's the bias. It's much smoother. And then that's the harmonic. Oh, nice. So three flavors of that. Then there's also three reverbs. There's a 63 and a 65 spring. These are definitely the coolest spring algorithms we've ever done. Mm -hmm. So you can hear, like with the spring, it really oh, yeah, gets yeah. springy. Um, so there's a 63 and a 65. You hear your voice slightly differently. The 65 from the amp 63 is the standalone reverb unit. Then there's also a big wet modulated plate kind of sound, which is just fun to play. Just for kind of ambient washes of things. Mm. So three cool reverbs. Um, there's a tap tempo on the tremolo side. If you hold the tremolo button down, it turns into a tap. So um, true stereo in and out. Uh, so that's that. We have the Downtown Express, which I don't have hooked up right now. Um, it's a bass pedal, so it's a bass multi. It has a compressor, it has an overdrive, it has an EQ, and it has a DI built in. There's a separate tuner output. There's a mute switch for the tuner. This was done by Alex Aguilar, who works for us. He's kind of known in the bass world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one of the cool things about this pedal is that overdrive was designed especially for bass, so it doesn't rob you of low end. Mm -hmm. And it has cabinet simulation built in. So if you're using a bass amp with a tweeter, um, it won't like rip your head off from the high end. Um, so, uh, and then you can change the order of the compressor first or overdrive first as you want. Awesome. Uh, this is fun. This is our MTG tube distortion. This we did as a collaboration with our friend Bruce Agnator, who's completely awesome. Mm. Um, this is neat because it's a new old stock US military tube in here and it's running on high voltage. Um, so it runs on 150 volts on the plate, just so that we all know what high voltage wow. really means. So it's got a switching power supply, but it still runs on nine volts from your pedal board. So it doesn't need an exotic pedal board power supply. Yeah. It draws about 300 milliamps of current, so it'll use like a high current output from mm. something, but otherwise totally normal. Um, so this pedal gets anywhere from, from kind of, you know, bluesier, up into kind of, you know, kind of mid-gain rock. Uh, there's a switchable boost. Um, that can give you more drive as well as more output level. Yeah. Um, there's a three band tone stack, treble middle bass, and then there's a tight control, which is a Bruce Agnator thing. Um, and what that does is control how much low end happens in front of the overdrive. So it sort of just kind of, it can be thicker for some solo stuff, which is great, but sometimes it's a little too tubby for rhythm playing. So it makes it more articulate for rhythm. So it goes from a, yeah, here kind of thin out a little bit. So that's that. Uh, we have our pinwheel, which is a rotary speaker simulator. So this has three different models. It has a 122, a 145, and then a vibratone, because of course we have to do a vibratone. <laughs> there are separate controls for fast and slow rate, as well as a control for the ramp time, for how long it takes to get up and down. Um, it simulates the power amp from a Leslie 145 or 122 also, so you can kind of have some drive on it if you want, and there's a tone control for that. So this is very uh, just basic and simple. Um, and it, so now it's kind of got a bunch of drive on it. does a neat thing where it has this dynamic sensor and it'll watch when I'm playing and when I play when I dig in a little more it'll automatically speed it up so you can watch this LED will light up and when you set the threshold right 
you can kind of play with it. So Very kind cool. Of thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and true stereo in and out. And this has a voicing switch also, so you can set it up to where it works well with a guitar amp, um, where you get rid of some of the cabinet artifacts, mm -hmm. like the crossover notch and stuff like that, so that way it doesn't like get woolly and weird with a yeah. guitar amp. But meanwhile, if you're a keyboard player, there's a keyboard switch where it then goes back to having the full like resonance of the cabinet and that kind of stuff. So um, there's an expression pedal input that can also just be a foot switch, so if you want to plug a separate speed control, you can. So that's the pinwheel. Um, Lots of comments last year when we did pedals about why no modulation pedals, so three this year. <laughs> um, so we have a chorus and we have a phaser, and these two are kind of cousins of each other. So the chorus is an analog chorus, uh, and uh, so it uses a bucket brigade de mm -hmm. delay, and its basic thing is it does the same stuff as the pinwheel as far as it has two sets of settings, mm -hmm. and you can ramp between them, and it'll speed up and slow down, and it has the same dynamic sensing, where if I play... So that's the chorus. Um, then we do a phaser. Phaser, again, similar kind of thing. Two sets of controls, the dynamic sensing. And the phaser does lots of fun stuff where, you know, you can do sort of the classic disco phase. Um, it's got two, two different rates, of course, so you can speed up. Like how the ramps between yeah. them as well, yeah. And it still does the dynamic thing. But now one of the cool things is there's a mix control, and when you blend it all the way wet, you can... It's, it's slowly phasing now, but you don't hear it because there's nothing for it to kind of reference to. And then, when you switch to the fast, you can actually have it be a vibrato. Where it doesn't sound like a phaser, it just sounds like a vibrato. So you can have it kind of fade in and out vibrato. Oh, that's really neat. And then, of course, with the dynamic thing, then you can be playing... So, lots of versatility. Is that one an analog or a digital design? It's an analog design. Oh, so, wow. yeah, it's true. So these are analog. These are both DSP-based. Mm -hmm. This is tube yeah. on high voltage, and this is all analog. So that's Sweet. the lineup. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dave. All right. Awesome. Enjoy the show. Thank you. This is Mike from Music Radar. Stay tuned to the site for more.